Good morning, Hillman Cancer Center. Happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining us for Clicking for Cancer and Chronic Disease. This is brought to you by the Wellness and Integrative Oncology Program located on the third floor of Hillman Cancer Center. Our program focuses on symptom management and quality of life using integrative therapies like lifestyle nutrition. I'm Danielle Petrina, the project manager, and this is Angela Zaccanini, our registered dietitian who focuses on lifestyle nutrition. Good morning, Ange. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it's been a day already. So we are excited to bring to you another vegetarian dish. Mm -hmm. um, last week we did a veggie frittata. So it's really nice to be incorporating things that still have high protein, uh, but all through veggies. So Ange, kick us off. Tell us what's happening, what we're doing. I forgot to turn on a light, so I'm going to go do that real okay, quick. Okay, great. Are we recording? Yes, we okay. are. Wonderful. So these vegetarian stuffed peppers are made with black beans and no ground meat. So if you're trying to lean more plant-based, this is a great option for you. This is probably our third time making this recipe and we all really enjoy it. Um, this particular recipe comes from the blog Love and Lemons. Um, one that I definitely go to a lot and really enjoy the recipes. So. If you do look at this recipe though, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed because the ingredients list is rather long. However, a lot of seasoning, spices, but it's not really a bad recipe. No. When it this, comes to preparation. Yeah, for prep, I mean, it just like, it's kind of one of those things, just be aware yeah. that there's a little bit more and probably look at those seasonings. Seasonings tends to stress me out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have that. Right. That's the only thing. So maybe just look ahead, but this is a great, um, way to have an easy meal with your family, especially you could pre like make them, get them ready to go in the oven. And then if you come home from work or wherever, throw them in the oven, be done. You can also do this in advance and have it for a couple days for lunch. Definitely. So something to keep in mind. Yep. All right, cool. So what we went ahead and did already was boiled our rice, cooked down the black beans, and we did use frozen corn. So we just threw that corn in the pot as well. Now the recipe calls for three cups of cooked rice. I did three cups of uncooked, so <laughs> as you can see, that's a lot of rice. I was thinking maybe we should spoon that out, so that because we're gonna have to add all that seasoning to it, right? Yeah, but it's all mixed together. Okay. But you're not gonna like get all the goodness throughout that whole thing. So you're gonna just pull the rice out? No, I just mean like go like this, three, and then put it in a new mixing bowl, add your spices, Oh. to that rather than this big thing. You could do whatever. You could do that. Am I the boss today? Sure. Did you all hear that? I am the boss today. I never want to be the boss ever. So besides cooking the rice and the black beans, we oh, I also had Danielle cut up two jalapenos, two, two scallions, two scallions, and then she also juiced the lime and um, got the zest. Yes. So that, that's pretty much a lot of the preparation that you have to do. You also have to cut in half the peppers and remove the seeds. So that could be a little bit time consuming as well. And as for the spices, we're using um, cumin, coriander, and cayenne, all one teaspoon. And you know, if you didn't have seasonings or all of these if you had like a taco seasoning mix. Yeah, or that's eat, a great point. Yeah, or if you just had like chili powder, uh, paprika. paprika. Yeah, yeah. Like, you could really make your own taco seasoning right. or spice. And it's not like baking, you do it to taste. So like add a little bit, taste yep. it, see if you like it. But the taco seasoning is great yeah. idea. Yeah. Like you just throw that all in and you're done. Yeah. Now me, you know, I would have bought like three packs of microwavable rice, done it that way, yeah. threw in some beans, corn, because the beans and corn are going to get baked once they go in the oven, mix it all True. up, done and done. Yep. With the taco seasoning packet. Great thought. Easy Ange. peasy. All right. So preheat your oven to 450, which we did. Look at and me. it is working as opposed to last week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm exhausted thinking about it because... <laughs> that, was anyway. a, that was a rough morning. Yeah. Though. So, all right, so 450, line your baking sheet with parchment paper and then put your halves of peppers on there. So the recipe calls for four red peppers. Um, of course, you know, your rice, your black beans, your corn is going to be the filling, and then you're going to want to add the other seasoning. So 
besides that, you're going to want to add, let's see, the jalapenos, the scallions, the lime zest. Let me bring that over here real quick. Um, and also, after you handle jalapenos, please wash your hands. I accidentally rubbed my eyes. Um, <laughs> actually, just like the corner of my eye. And that, am I adding all this, Angie? Yeah. Okay. And um, that was a terrible, terrible thing. <laughs> I was like, and I just, just to add to the misery. <laughs> I know. It's been a really rough morning here. Um, but look at this. Okay. So just mixing up. I know that this is not a traditional mixing bowl and just like yelling just at me. And so we're just Nothing starting. we do here is traditional yes. if you haven't realized. But see, all the things that you can do in your home using whatever you need to use. Um, Ange, talk to us about the goodness of this recipe, what we're getting nutritionally out of this. I'm going to dump this all sure. in, right? Yep. I'm just going to let her talk. Here, you want to do some salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil, too. You got it, boss. And look at our fancy things. We are like real deal over here. Yep. All right. So what's cool about this recipe is, of course, like we mentioned, it's vegetarian. And if you don't cook a pound of rice like I did, you're going to get a lot more beans. So you're going to have more of a balanced meal and higher protein. So this is going to be heavy on the carbohydrates <laughs> <laughs> because we have more rice than beans. Um, for the recipe calls, so keep in mind, this is the mistake I made. It's three cups of cooked rice. I did three cups uncooked. So three cups of cooked rice is only one cup uncooked. Do you know what I mean? Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, did I mess that up? No, 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 no. no. Yeah. So... And then one and a half cups of cooked black beans, one and a half cups of corn. So, of course, you would have that good balance and you would have a higher protein. But um, not only is it a good vegetarian meal, you're getting red pepper, you're getting jalapenos, you're getting fiber, tons of fiber for this recipe. And if you want to keep it completely vegan, you would eliminate the final step of adding that white cheddar cheese, which we don't do that around here. No. No, we, no. I mean, we have had vegan meals and recipes, but. And they have been very good. Yeah, I for mean, sure. There's a lot of option there. And also there's vegan cheese out there in the world. Um, I'm just That's doing, true. You know, so yeah. do it that way. Let's I do know. a little bit of this. I don't think the recipe actually called for salt and pepper, but we have done this it before, does. and um, right. I really like when it's like this. So I'm going to start stuffing. Start stuffing. Will you change my um, camera view over do you, there do, I, do I know how to do that? Cut. Just hit the word cut. Oh. Yeah. Look what at a that. gal. So you're going to see just, you know. There she you, is. There she is. Look <laughs> at those pretty peppers. And I love when we use a red pepper, obviously with the green. We're very big fans of that. Um, over here is adding color, especially with the yellow. Uh, very pretty. So. How long do we have to cook these puppies for? All right, that was my next thing I was going to look into. Oh, <laughs> what you can do before you fill them? <laughs> Free cook them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Don't you just love us? I mean. I love us. You just cook them a little longer. <laughs> it's all right. You know what? I think the first time that we made this, we actually made this for the team that came yes. and taught us the production Yep. Trained us in the production equipment. We obviously wanted to show them a class so they could understand our needs. And I think it was the first and only time we did not screw up this recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, you and, know. We, and we sit here and tell you how easy they are until you get us in the kitchen. But right. either way, it's fine. You can still cook them um, with the rice in it. The nice thing about this is you don't have to do anything for the beans and corn. So you can just open, you know, the can up, the fresh bag of, or the frozen bag and get going, um, you don't have to like cook it in a pan before. No, you, right? all I did was when I was cooking the rice, when you the rice it. was about to be done, I just threw it all so in. So it warmed. The thing I said didn't make no, sense. No, but right it now. does okay. make sense, mm. but it's not just what, I, it's not what I did, but we don't do anything right, so. <laughs> <laughs> so what no, you would do. do at home is throw those peppers in before you add the filling and cook them for about 10 minutes to soften. I personally, like my peppers really soft. Me too. Um, so that would just eliminate that crunchy, tough pepper, um, give you a better mouthfeel. So that's something you could do ahead of time. But of course, you know, we don't follow the rules around here. So yeah, we're no, going. <laughs> we do not. Um, that would just be too easy. Yeah. So, but this is what's really nice. If you happen to make three uncooked cups like this. I'm just gonna show this because Ange, Ange, Ange and I both like to tease each other. We're very funny, so there's a lot here happening. 
this can last for a little bit. So make some salads out of it. You know, add some make lettuce. Make 300 more peppers <laughs> and, and freeze them. And, and you're freeze filling them. for your whole uh, neighborhood. The, the staff does love when we make mistakes like this because it's like, yes. Yeah, we have extra food. All right. So I'm gonna Do you want to top the cheese on there now? Do you think it'll burn it? Or no. no. Okay. Because we can just add the cheese on now, okay. bake. So what you can do is broil it for about two to five minutes once it's, you know, cooked thoroughly or continue baking at 450 for 10 to 15 minutes until the cheese is melted. So what you can do is add additional jalapenos, add some lime, add some cilantro, add some avocado or guacamole to it and make Ooh, it a full meal. Yeah. And we've done this too. We've taken some Tabasco sauce. Uh, and put Must. it on um, as well. So if you're like in the mood for spice, um, this is it, especially if you're having some taste bud changes, you'll definitely get them kicking with this recipe. Yep. So if you don't like spice, don't do it. Yeah, omit or just don't add. And you know, obviously these are good nutrient dense. Of course this recipe doesn't have the nutrition facts. I wonder if it is on the blog. Um, am I going top pan? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So about 10 to 15 minutes for those in your oven. Um, we'll just let those babies cook a little bit. But um, there was something I was going to say about the... It's going to be very oh, important. Okay. So, you know, in an oncology standpoint, we do encourage predominantly plant-based eating. But to be honest with you, I would encourage predominantly plant-based based eating across the board, just for overall healthy eating, optimizing your nutrition. Now, by predominantly plant-based, I don't mean vegetarian or vegan, I just mean increasing your intake of plant-based dishes. I love that, Angie. You know, I always felt bad because I was like, yeah, that's not going to be me. Yeah, so it's I didn't not know me that that's either. what you like meant by that. Yeah. Okay. So it's just increasing your plant-based dishes or vegetarian meals, but more importantly, increasing your fruits and vegetables, as well as your whole grains, your you know lean protein sources, some um, beans, lentils, tofu even. Yeah. So really, just getting that variety and that um, you know kind of expanding and experimenting with these um, plant-based dishes if you haven't before. And I feel too that here in the Westernized culture, we do not consume enough fruits and vegetables. Agree. So that's really my spiel when it comes to plant-based. Eat more of it. Yeah. Not becoming vegan or vegetarian. That's great. That's, yeah. a, that's a great piece of advice. Don't um, play. It's like, I know. Extend bait time. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is either. We're just going to continue on. Um, so next What's week. What's next week? We are cooking breakfast cookies. Oh yeah, so I did look this recipe up recently. That's exciting, it's and actually, we only have two more classes left in June. But you know what that means? It's our birthday. It's, it's coming up. Cancer season. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, so yeah, so we will be celebrating birthdays when so you're older and wiser. Yeah, when you're older and more experienced. That's it. So. Stay tuned for that. We're really excited. Angie's going to be developing some new recipes for July and August. We tend to build out those recipes about two months in advance. You can find those on our website. That'll be the update so you can um, see along. And also, Angie, you're going to do it? I don't know. You want me to? Yeah. Okay. So um, Angie's web or website, Angie's email address, I'm going to put up at the bottom of our screen here. And there you can... Um, Oh man, we just had that whole thing facing on us and didn't have the whole crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're rocky today. Okay, so I put Andrew's wow. email address. They didn't even see our cool hug about our birthdays. None of them. You guys missed all the warm and fuzzies. Um, again, Andrew's email address is at the bottom of the screen. We send out a weekly email. It's very simple, easy. Just a reminder, it's normally on Monday or Tuesday <laughs> of that week with the link to join our YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe, that way it'll just automatically pop up for you. And then Angela lets you know the recipe of the week and then she'll let you know when the new, um, all the new recipes drop for July and August, which also means like we're finishing yeah. out summer by that point. Oof. I can't. And that means I have to get to work. I know. Like I gotta I know, do Angela. some stuff. You got stuff to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Um, I feel like we always get like, we make it bigger than what it is and then it's like you're done I know, like minutes. I'm fine. I enjoy looking up recipes. It's a good time. Yeah. It's not, you know. And we're gonna keep it like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. Right? I enjoy the variety. Yeah. And I think everyone else does too. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. So 
Uh, I think that's it for right now. We got like 15 minutes left on these, so you're probably not going to see the final product. Um, but we'll take a picture, put it on our Instagram. Also, follow us on Instagram. Our yeah. handle is at UPMC Wellness, UPMC Cancer Wellness. That's what it is, right? Yes. Okay. Because it's weird. It's not our full name. So yeah. that's why we're a little bit hesitant. But we do post a lot of like our pictures just to show you the final product if we weren't able to fit it in because um, we try to keep this pretty timely for you. So, okay. I think that's it. That's it. Um, thanks so much, team. We will see you next Wednesday, 9 o'clock. Meet us here in the teaching kitchen. And please let us know if you have any feedback. Thanks so much. And have a good rest of your week.